right now is Neil Clark. Neil is with Nations Lending, and we are getting ready to talk about veterans loans and rural loans. Neil, fill us in. Um, how did a, the program start for veterans, and what does a veteran need to do to, to qualify? And what are the what are the benefits? Is there a lower rate, uh, length of terms? Or what are some of the benefits to a veteran? Well, one of the uh, several benefits. One is it's 100 percent financing for up to 424,100, which is the conforming loan limit. 100 percent financing. It has a, a VA funding fee, but no mortgage insurance. So other than the funding fee that's up front, there's no monthly mortgage insurance. So it's the only loan that uh, out there. Does not have mortgage insurance related to it, and no monthly charge for mortgage insurance. Also, the rates are very favorable. Like today, your rate would be 3.5 for a VA loan, and uh, with a good credit. And the reason is that is VA loans historically have very low default rates, so they're very attractive loans to lenders. So they offer very good rates, very strong rates for those. And they also are guaranteed. A portion of them are guaranteed by the Veterans Administration. That's how the loan. Perfect. Um, and then how long does it normally take to process a, a veteran's loan? Is it faster or is it about the same? Or? Uh, they take about uh, anywhere from two to three weeks to process a VA loan. As long as you have your certificate of eligibility, uh, it should take even less time. But once you have the information together, it's just a regular loan. It just has a veteran guarantee on top of it. And there's VA lenders and there's also VA underwriters. So it's just a specific type of loan, but those, those folks Okay, and then is that similar in, to like a rural loan? That that's the USDA. I understand that Abraham Lincoln created that to help farmers, um, and now it's, it's it's obviously we have a lot of people building houses in that. Do I have that right? Yes, through the Department of Agriculture, they have a USDA rural development loan, and that's for areas like St. Tammany is considered rural as far as the mapping. And is there a cap on the amount you can borrow in a, in a rural? Uh, it's not capped on the amount you can borrow, but it's capped based upon the month, amount of income you can make. Okay. So basically a family of four, a person would make no more than 78400 per year to be eligible for the USDA. If you make more than that, you don't fall off with that type of loan. Now, in uh, Louisiana, outside of New Orleans, it seems like most of the state is going to be rural, I, I would gather. Yes, just the cities, the larger cities like uh, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, Lake Charles, in those city limits, within the city limits, they would not qualify. Shreveport would be the same. Uh, but Slidell, Vanderbilt, Covington, Hammond, all those areas would qualify. Zachary, Greenville. So rural is, is a, I guess, a relative term to this, almost like the city of New York. You know, that it's not like what we might consider downtown Hammond is still rural, according to the USDA. Is that right? Yes, it's based upon a population, and they have a map, so it's actually fairly easy to find out. But the address into the mapping edge tells you if you qualify, if you're within in the uh, area of USDA, or, or you're not. It's just like the income. You take the income, and you find out if you qualify. But if you meet those qualifications, it's a very good loan. Ne now, what about flood insurance? I mean, things are changing so dramatically these days. Do people need to be thinking about uh, the impact of flood insurance and qualifying? Absolutely. That's one of the things the lenders, any, any mortgage loan that's originated uh, in the hearing a flood zone would have to have flood insurance. So one of the first things the lender would do is find out how much that flood insurance costs. Some areas are very high cost. So that, that borrower needs to consider that as part of their housing. 
Okay. Um, Neil, how can someone reach you if they want to, uh, if they're looking for a loan right now and uh, how do they get in touch with you? Sure. You can uh, reach me by phone at 985 778 